Hello and welcome to the channel. This video is focusing on the DJI NEO and the big question for today is can it keep up with an e-scooter in follow mode? Hope you find the video useful. This is the Avo Pro ES80 e-scooter. It's fitted with mono rim front and rear suspension and both Avo Pro and mono rim have partnered with me in previous videos. The scooter's slow mode is nine miles an hour and on this very brightly lit road the Neo is tracking me and also following me in terms of speed really accurately, I feel. The Avo Pro's next mode is Eco and this is 13 miles an hour. I'm traveling up a slight gradient here, but once again, the Neo is tracking me and also following me again in terms of speed really accurately. The scooter's sport mode is 19 miles per hour and as you can see here I'm getting away from the Neo in terms of my speed and the, the drone's speed so that's something to be aware of and we'll explore that more throughout this video. So this is the first real test of the Neo and its tracking abilities. What I really like is how it curves around corners and sort of follows where you've been rather than where it thinks you're going. And the settings here are follow mode, the height is high and the distance is far. The phone is mounted to my bars and I can see the green box around me on the phone, which you can see on the footage there. The green box is tracking me. So as long as you're inside that green box, it means that you're being tracked. I've moved into a slightly more residential area here so I can do some curves in and out of the buildings to see how effective the tracking is. And again, the Neo moves really well in between the buildings. And as I do this right turn, that you can see that the Neo is curving round really accurately and keeping me in the center of that frame really smoothly. So another left turn here and the Neo swooping round again really accurately. I've not attempted to do any colour grading on this footage, it is exactly as it was shot. Some footage here using my GoPro rather than the DJI Neo. And into the final footage of this video you can see that I'm being tracked. I'm moving pretty quickly here. I'm becoming quite small in the frame. The battery is getting pretty critically low and the Neo loses me at this point, as you can see. I became very, really small on the frame, but as soon as I come back into frame, it picks me back up again. 
So again, the speed there I was traveling at probably in excess of 90 miles an hour. I've been so impressed with this little drone. The tracking abilities and just the general functionality are incredible. I'm really happy that I bought it. So there you go. The big question for today was, can this DJI Neo keep up with an e-scooter? Uh, nine miles an hour, absolutely. 13, 14 miles an hour, still kept up, but at 90 miles an hour, a little bit hit and miss really. Sometimes it was following me and tracking me incredibly well and then uh, on a couple of occasions it lost me so my assumption here is the 13-14 miles an hour is the perfect speed for the DJI Neo to keep up with an e-scooter. I really hope that you found the video useful and as always please like, please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.